It was a Monday. Um, I worked that day, and then I had some girlfriends that came over, and nobody in my neighborhood except for me and my husband did Christmas lights, and we wanted to go see Christmas lights, and we had a side by side at the time. So it's a ATV, which is an um, off road vehicle. It's kind of like a four wheeler, but with a box around it, basically. It didn't start raining until we were leaving out of my neighborhood and taking off. From what I was told, we, we turned in, and when I turned in, I hydroplaned. And when I overcorrected to fix it, the tires gripped the asphalt, and then that's when it flipped. And then it landed on top of me, and then drug me about 20 feet across the asphalt. And from where I wrecked, I wrecked in front of a mobile firefighter's house, and he, him and his wife came, and so my friend Lori and Samantha and his wife pulled the side by side up when he pulled me out. He got me stable, and then Lori called my dad and then called 911. I literally drove as if she was a thousand miles away because I was driving so fast. And I'm thinking, did, did a car hit them? or did they run off in the ditch? Um, but when I got there and, and saw that the condition she was in, which at the time she was not, she was not conscious. Um, and I'm gonna say this for the gentleman that the wreck happened in front of. Uh, if it hadn't been for him, then we wouldn't have our daughter because he, said that she had no pulse when he pulled her out from under that. And I remember them asking the ambulance driver, where should we take her? He said, we're taking her to USA. And I just remember saying, yes, please do, which was the best decision we ever, could have ever made. I remember being in the ER at one point. I remember telling, asking her if I was gonna die because I knew something was bad. And uh, she didn't. She didn't answer me. My upper jaw was pretty much crushed in, um, broke, and then I had a, a fillet basically that went all the way up this way, and my face was open. Um, I lost two teeth at, at the accident. Scars for sure. I had six vertebrae in my neck broke. Um, and then my ear was completely torn off um, and they had to put it back on. And I have a big had a big laceration that went on the back of my head. Five vertebrae in my back were broke. One was shattered and was in my spinal canal. Broke all my ribs, but five and six of them were in puzzle pieces from what I understood. They had to give me 25 units of blood just to keep me alive. I was pumping it out as fast as um, they were putting it in because the ribs had lacerated and punctured my lungs so bad that, I mean, it was just, I was just bleeding out. I had, it was basically three days worth of surgery-ish. Um, so the 10 hour surgery was one surgery, but there were several things that was fixed in that surgery. Um, the first day was just keeping me stabilized from what I understand. It, and, and then I told my husband when we came out, I said, she will never look the same because she, she was incredibly, it was bad. It was really bad. And South Alabama put her back together. This is my mom. And she was definitely the caretaker through all this. And then that's my husband, Nathan. He was too. When people tell you that Family is everything. I mean, and they were in this. <laughs> An old saying that says, you know, at the blink of an eye, you can lose the things you love. You've always heard people say that. You don't, you don't think a whole lot about it until you experience it. But until you actually see people who truly know their job and they're really good at their job 
and you see them save your daughter, it, it changes your, your whole perspective. USA Health was there in the most crucial time of my life, you know, when I, in a sense, was dying. So, I mean, they, they saved me. Everything that USA did for me is beyond what I could have ever imagined. I mean, as far as the doctors, the nurses, I mean, everybody was so nice. Everybody was on point. I mean, I mean, they saved my life. So, I mean, I would definitely recommend USA.